when I first met Avi, he knew I was an Iranian, I knew he was Israeli, but the first thing we talked about was Bach. I mean, there's nothing more universal than Bach. I'm Mahan Esfahani, and I'm a harpsichordist. I'm Avi Avital, and I play the mandolin. We're not playing together because I'm Israeli and Mahan is Iranian and we're doing it for peace. It comes very natural uh, um, at the same um, at the same time. Of course, it's very it's very exciting also to be able to show the world that uh, it's not always what they read in newspapers. We played the Wigmore season launch. It's a very important event. It's a sort of highlight on. London's cultural calendar. First performance together was uh, was uh, last August in Bristol Proms. We met, I think, the, the morning of the concert. It was lovely. I remember we talked a lot. I mean, instead of playing, yeah, that's right. <laughs> from the beginning, we just went into into a chat of of that that went really um, kind of deeper into music and and uh, and into life and. Uh, and then we played the beat, and then we talked more, and then we played, and that was um, that was just so such an immediate um, click. So do the like fake recap. But how how can this be? Don't worry, I got it. We're definitely trying to send a musical message. Uh, I think, and we're practicing the dream. I think the dream of us all is that in the future, an Iranian and an Israeli playing together, or an Israeli and Palestinian, and so on, would be as normal as French with Norwegian. We're just practicing the actual um, reality that we want to live in. The harpsichord to me is a kind of a sexy sound, actually. Uh, and people sort of chuckle when they hear me say that, but when they hear it play, <laughs> They don't, they don't disagree anymore. The more I play, the more I perform it in concert halls, uh, the more I find kind of the advantage in being a mandolin player. It's a very fresh sound um, in a context of a concert hall. I think the you know. best composers, they <laughs> depict the world as they'd like to see it. There's something about deciding whether a chord is major or minor that really actually puts things into perspective. I think the more time we have together, it's going to be really interesting to see how it pans out. It's early days. Um, but if you have that spark, that can, that can, with discipline, that can lead to a lot.